Hello, Michelle. Hey, Michelle, question for you. Yes, what is it? Do you like animated movies? You know, like Disney movies? So, um, I do. I wouldn't say I, I'm... I, I love the Disney movies that I grew up with, you know? Of course. Um, I, I have... Actually, my best friend, she is an animator. And oh, really? Interesting. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, she is really into all of the movies and she knows all of them and I don't really as much yeah. um I guess with my kids I'll get a little bit more into it but generally um I don't watch that much other than the old ones what about you yeah I yeah it reminds me of my childhood for sure mm -hmm. um but there is still even as an adult there's still some good like the movie Inside Out I remember watching that recent I think that's animated yeah I'm pretty sure yeah. it is yeah yeah I remember watching that on a plane just in the last five years and bawling. That means crying. See, see, <laughs> I can't, I, I know I've seen some of Inside Out, but I can't pay attention it's, to it because it's one, I, again, I'm not good with the coming of age oh, thing. Okay. Okay. So I, too I, emotional? I, or? Yeah, too, it's too emotional. That's, that's really about me. That's a fun <laughs> fact is my, my biggest thing is just, time going by too fast oh, and all yeah. those things so when there's anything like that it's 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 so painful for me i can't i can't even watch those <laughs> things so That's funny. okay well everyone has their own triggers right the things that we like to avoid for sure i get it yeah i get it also it, sad dog movies That's oh no 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 like old yeller <laughs> old yeller i could not oh, oh that just yes. broke my heart when i was a kid no. and i could not watch it again no um, no exactly yeah. um <laughs> so what are we getting into, Michelle, today? Um, before we get into it, I just want to let our listeners know we like to do these fun Spotify polls. Yeah. So at the towards the end of this episode, we are going to put in a Spotify poll. It's a great way to interact with us so we get to see what you guys are thinking and then we will announce the results on a future episode. Excellent. Excellent. And today we're going to answer a listener question. Uh, we're going to talk about, you know, about Disney movies, about animated movies. They're not all Disney, I guess. Animated movies, you know, Pixar right, exactly. and, and different brands are emerging right. for sure um, but we'll talk about those and some famous quotes but first I do want to Michelle say a special thank you to certain special listeners that went ahead and left us a review you guys Aww. took the time to go to the wherever you're listening the app or Apple Podcasts, and write a review for the show and I see some five-star reviews here Michelle Ooh, yay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so special thank you to me Edison from Taiwan uh, there was an anonymous five-star review we love those too on mm -hmm. October 26 and Mary baby 135 from Japan thank you so much guys for reviewing the show we love it and we are gonna try to announce your name on the show if you go and review the show guys so go leave a review whether you're in the ios android app that's a good place to listen or whether you're an apple podcast or spotify or any other place you get your podcasts mm -hmm. okay yeah but absolutely thank you guys so much um before we get started and read the listener question Lindsay, do you have a favorite animated movie wow that's a hard question yeah i really like lion king i think lion king is the kind of one that i liked more when i saw it later in life actually believe it or not mm. and i saw it on broadway too which was amazing oh you oh, i've yeah. always wanted to yeah. do that yeah. oh it my gosh cool. that's yeah. i've heard it's incredible yeah. i love i like sleeping beauty um mm -hmm. okay. i like beauty and the beast i love lion king i mean i remember every day after school uh, coming home and sitting with my brother and we would watch the lion king that Aww. was our favorite one i That's remember cute. i had i had a we had two little neon chairs i had an orange one and he had a green one and mm -hmm. i still remember that but little mermaid was the first movie that i ever saw in the theater okay yeah that was i yeah that was a big one too in my childhood you know just hearing you describe these moments with your brother makes mm -hmm. me think that this what our listeners are going to learn yeah. today is going to be powerful because right. for a lot of our listeners, if you guys are in your 30s, 40s, maybe 50s, or even 20s, when you quote when you quote lines from these movies, it sends the person back to the movie, which sends yeah. them back to usually good feelings about childhood and, and experiences and good memories, right? Exactly. There's a lot because because as adults, if we talk about these, we share these movies, it's generally probably something that you watched when you were a kid. Yeah. Um, of course, depending on how old you are. But mm -hmm. yeah, thinking thinking about Beauty and the Beast, I, I mean, yeah, for each of these movies, I can talk about why I like them and a memory I have with them. And yeah. these yes. animated films are kind of special in that way. Yes. So I'm so excited to, to get deeper into this episode today. I'm going to read the listener question. Shall I, Michelle? 
Go ahead and read yes, it. Please. Okay. All right. So did this come from YouTube? We don't know. We don't know where um, this came from, but that's okay. I'm not sure. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. So the listener says, hi, Lindsay and Michelle. I'm Sophia. Thank you so much for your amazing podcast. I really enjoy listening to it and have learned so much from both of you. That is so mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. I have a quick question about the phrase, be my guest. Could you explain how to use it in conversation? Thanks in advance. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Sophia, this is an awesome question. I love this question. So we actually over six years ago no talked way, about Michelle. this expression. So of course you want to know uh, that that it was covered, but I did. I, I thought, oh, I recognize this. I think I did this. So episode 985, that was be our guest. When should you use this phrase? So definitely guys go over and listen to that one. But just to give to answer Sophia's question, um, be my guest could be used in a genuine or a sarcastic way. So right. we'll give a couple examples and then we're going to go into something inspired by this question. So Lindsay, what's an example? Yes. So be my guest could be used, like we said, a genuine or a sarcastic mm -hmm. way, as you said. So if you're cold, please be my guest. Take a blanket from the drawer over there. Right. So when you're hosting mm -hmm. someone, uh, it's a way of showing people to uh, that they should uh, help themselves or make mm -hmm. themselves comfortable. It's like, right. you know, be it, uh, make yourself at home, that idea. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, or if you don't want to be the one, uh, no, if you if you want to be the one to tell her the bad news, be my guest. Oh, that's a little more sarcastic, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, a little more with an attitude. <laughs> yes, yes. Or I don't want to argue with you, but sounds like you want to argue. Be my guest. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So yes. Sarcasm it's, too. it's welcoming someone in a certain way, but whether that way is a good way or kind of a snarky way, that mm -hmm. depends on the context. So mm -hmm. but definitely head over to that episode 985 because we really get deep into it on that one. Um, but so, Lindsay, today I thought we would do a spin on this question. So when I hear be my guest, yeah. I think of be our guest, which is from what movie, Lindsay? Uh, the Beauty and the Beast. I almost start in my head. I start the tune starts, it, right? A bit. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Now I'm going to have it stuck in my head all day. I, know. I think it was Lumiere, um, Lumiere. Who, who's, who sings lead on this one. It's when in Beauty and the Beast, they're all you know, she, she doesn't want to go to dinner, I right. think because right. of the beast. And then they all put on a big show for her. And it's just, it's this extremely special moment in the movie. It's a very cheerful song. If you don't know it, definitely go and listen to it. It's, that's another great movie. <laughs> it must've been amazing writing these movies, you know, writing mm -hmm. these scripts and orchestrating those moments in, mm -hmm. and just like the music, bringing it all together. What a cool career that would be. Yeah. Oh my gosh. For <laughs> sure. So yeah, that's uh, be my guest. That's what it really makes me think of that amazing scene. So we're going to talk about expressions from animated films or maybe the song titles that you may hear in everyday life. Mm -hmm. So it's not that be my guest comes from the movie. Um, right. I think it exists on, as an expression on its own, but right. I, I think when, when you hear it, it's hard not to think of Beauty and the Beast. Sure. It's yeah. so ingrained in our culture. Yeah, that's an important point, Michelle. We already had that expression. I'm, sh I'm sure we did. I'm sure. In the English language and we knew what it meant and we would deploy it and use it. Uh, but then the movie used, grabbed it and then now we think of it as the movie. Right. Right. It's interesting how that changed. It's hard. It's hard to hear that without thinking of. Yes. It, it's hard to say, be my guest. It's, you know, even if you're angry and yeah. you say, be my guest. And then somebody might just in their head think, oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. So um, I'm excited to get yeah. into these, Michelle. We're going to go Let's into uh, what are these? I think we have four of them from um, one, famous two, movie. Three, four, five. I yes, think five, five of them. So let's get right into it. I bet our listeners are wondering which ones what we're going to highlight today. Yes. Okay. So the first one is just keep swimming. So do you know this one, Lindsay? Yeah. I, you know what? So finding Nemo is a movie that I only saw more recently. So it's not internalized as much for me as these older ones are. Yeah. So that's funny. I also saw it recently yeah. for the first time okay. um yeah. so but i i knew even i mean i had seen bits and pieces but i even though i hadn't seen it i knew the expression i knew where it was fun just because people would always say it and really? huh. yep yeah so i mean this basically means just keep moving on with your life i don't remember exactly where it was used in the movie but it, you know it's it's the idea it's used about fish but it's teaching this 
um, moral lesson of move on with your life, even though it can be tough. It's kind of like saying, hang in there or hang on. Yeah. Right. So would this be something, Michelle, you'd say maybe if someone's going through a breakup, potentially, depending on their mood? Or uh, yeah, I think it, yeah, you want to. This is definitely very cute sounding. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I I think you save it when you know the person is in an okay, okay. enough mood to yeah. maybe hear not it the you day know? after a breakup. So maybe well yeah. into that time. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe yeah, like <laughs> maybe okay, uh, maybe it's well after their breakup and they're getting into dating again and they're saying, oh, ah. it's like so. And then you might say, okay, come on, just keep swimming. You right, can do this. Right. You can you yeah, go on a yeah, date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe they've had a couple of disappointing first dates and you're trying to encourage them to get back out there and book another date with someone. Right. Okay. Yes. I love that. Yes. Exactly. Um, So the next one is from the Lion King, Lindsay, which we both love. So what is this? Hakuna Matata. Right. So this one, so famous, especially with our generation, millennials, maybe Gen X. Uh, This comes from the Lion King, of course. Yes. And it means Mm -hmm. no worries, I guess, in Swahili. I don't speak Swahili, so I can't speak to that. But uh, that's what we looked up. Uh, right. That's what, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. And so, that makes sense because the, the movie was based in Africa, right? I imagine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and how would we use this, Michelle? Right. So you could say something like, I know you're worried about your schedule this month, but like Timon and Pumbaa say, Hakuna Matata, you got this. Oh, <laughs> I always think that the uh, names from The Lion King would make great dogs' names. You know, oh, that Pumbaa. is cute. <laughs> so cute. Pumbaa, that is cute. Oh, Pumbaa the dog, that's adorable. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to take a quick break and we'll be right back for three <laughs> more phrases. Okay, Michelle, we're back. Uh, so, what is the next one? Now we're going like 20 years forward. Yes, in the time we're going into the future. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so, this one is, I looked this one up to be honest because I haven't seen Frozen, but I have to. I mean, it's so popular. Yeah. I mean, of course, you could do, you could say, let it go from frozen that's one but <laughs> i found this one which i thought was interesting is some people are worth melting for oh, um beautiful. do you remember this Lindsay? i don't i don't remember that moment was that said by the snowman the yeah um, the, yes. yes what's his uh, name um i can't remember his name Our oh, listeners olaf. Know. olaf olaf yes even, yeah frozen is one of those movies that even if you don't know it you know the you names know of elsa you do. And, Anna and olaf and you know you it, can't get away from it for sure i mean my niece was so into this yeah. uh for a few years she couldn't yeah. stop talking about elsa and anna right all the characters olaf mm-hmm. oh my gosh mm-hmm. so it's basically the idea what we're conveying here is we can sacrifice ourselves for some people right Mm -hmm. they're worth Mm -hmm. it they're worth it Mm -hmm. so what would be a sample sentence you could say something like oh okay i'll be the one to share the bad news you just relax you're worth melting for it's like that's interesting because apparently i i lindsay i don't know maybe you know better than i do but apparently maybe all i don't want to give away things from the movie but (laughs) something about olaf melting i don't know i don't want to say okay yes Do you remember? Do you remember? No, I don't. I I'm not close enough to the story to. Yeah. I just kind of watch it with my niece, and you know what I mean. Um, yeah. So yes, I mean a lot of these stories can have sad endings at times, right? For sure. Yeah. So this idea is okay. You're. I'm gonna share this news with you because it's worth it. You know, being honest with you is that what we're kind of saying? Well, yeah. Sac- maybe sacri. No, no, no. Maybe sacrificing yourself. You know, yes. maybe the, you know you're uh, like. I'm doing something bad to myself for you. That's yes. mm-hmm. that's how I take it. If we have any Frozen fans who want to add that, uh, who yeah. want to correct me, but that's how I understood it. It's a pr- it's a nice line though. It's really <laughs> it is nice. I could see people. I don't know using that in wedding vows if they're really big Disney fans or something. Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah. it's a nice it line. Nice. It's kind of romantic, I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And and that's what I thought too until I looked into I think how it was used in the movie and okay. then I thought oh wait I don't know so guys. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. So guys, definitely look into this before you put it into your wedding vow. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you know the context. For- a, that and, will have a, that a bunch is- of angry uh, brides. Yeah. <laughs> and that actually is important, right? Because often when we're using these <clears throat> lines in our lives, we are referring back to the context of the movie. And right. we're not really changing the meaning mm-hmm. of the phrase and applying mm-hmm. it to a different scenario. Wouldn't you say, Michelle? Mm-hmm. Right. 
Right. Yeah. Exactly. We're, uh, yeah. It is really a reference to the movie, I think. Mm hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Right. What's the next one? Toy Story. Okay. Yeah. So this is Toy Story. So it's to infinity and beyond. Um, yeah. And the a Toy Story is another example of I can only watch the first one uh, because <laughs> then they get sadder and sadder as time goes on. I think especially the third one they say is so sad with the going to college and oh, I can't do oh, it. Um, oh. So but you know this expression, Lindsay, right? Yes. Yes. This yeah. one is definitely in the cultural, you know, in our narrative culturally. Right. Mm -hmm. And then going back to Aladdin, going back another 25 years again. <laughs> uh, this one is one that I grew up with, Aladdin, for sure. Yeah. Oh, I love Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was one of the first big, big Disney movies, I think. I mean, there were bigger ones before in the 70s. Yeah. But when Disney really came about in the eighties and nineties and just kind of exploded. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So this is a whole new world mm -hmm. now. So this is come, this is the, there's a song called a whole new world in Aladdin. And so you can, you can use it to talk about a change or a difference or maybe a bit of magic. Um, and mm -hmm. it's not just from Aladdin. This comes from other places as well. But if you, ref if you reference it, people will, likely think of Aladdin. So you could say yeah. it's a whole new world out there. Yes. I like that. I like that. <laughs> um, and that one also could come, I mean, there's the brave new world, which comes from the book. Right. I mean, that's also, so that one could have a, that one might not be as straightforward. Um, I've heard it in different contexts in different yeah. ways. So, yeah. but yeah, Aladdin, great right, movie. That's true. Yeah. Oh, great movie. Great movie. <laughs> so uh, Lindsay, we've talked about making pop culture references before, and this is a great start for animated films. So mm -hmm. I tried to choose some of the more famous ones and ones that have stood the test of time. Lindsay, what does that mean if it's, stood the test of time that's a yeah, good bonus that's a great today. question it's dur it's been durable it means that um the phrase hasn't been canceled in any way right like uh mm -hmm. deemed kind of sexist or racist and mm. you know it's it's lasted like you it still applies yeah. it's still relevant in 2024 as relevant as it was in 1994 Right. Right. Yes. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I do think Broadway helps in that way. I mean, because there is Aladdin on Broadway. There's, you know, Beauty and the Beast has been on Broadway. A lot of these. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think even Frozen, uh, certainly The Lion King. So I think a lot of those help keep these alive as well. And then they've even made new versions of Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. The, they call it the live action version, Beauty uh, and the Beast and Little Mermaid mm -hmm. and, and Aladdin. So a lot of these uh, mm -hmm. have new versions, updated versions. Yeah. That's that's interesting for sure. And if, mm -hmm. if you have a chance to see any of these on Broadway, definitely recommend it for sure. Um, mm -hmm. So Michelle, let's do a quick role play. All right. Let's, let's dive into it. Bring these phrases into action. Here we go. So we are friends getting to the airport to go on a friend's vacation. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be the best. I'm actually excited to get to the terminal. I hear it's a whole new world in there. Same. Let's get something to eat. Oh, no. At, look at that line. Ugh. Oh, it's okay, Lindsay. Just keep swimming. We have plenty of time. Okay, okay. You're right. Akuna Matata. <laughs> oh, no. One of us needs to call the hotel. Ugh, I really don't want to. Uh, okay. Some people are worth melting for. <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. To infinity and beyond. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is a little bit intense, right? Of course, we're not going <laughs> to... <laughs> yes. The, the, this is a, quite a conversation. Uh, although, although sometimes people might ha like to have a little competition. Oh, you used a you used an animated one. I'm going to use one. You use it, right? Yeah. So it, it is possible. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So, and we've talked about that on the show where someone might drop a certain kind of line, like from Seinfeld. And then the response is right. someone drops another line from right. Seinfeld. Yeah, this they, back and it's, forth. It's like matching themes, right? Uh, with right. each other. And if you're able right. to do that, it's really, 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 it's a C2 native. Extremely. Even a yep. lot of native speakers can't do it, honestly. Um, yeah. So it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So that's what exactly. the vibe that we're going for here. Yeah. So, Michelle, so, what did you say? First? I said, I'm actually excited to get to the terminal. But Lindsay, have you ever been to, a, you know, a terminal at the airport and you heard that they redid it or it's really oh, nice yeah. now? Mm -hmm. And Yeah, LaGuardia, I think. Didn't they redo parts think, of LaGuardia terminal? Yeah, I don't know, but I know uh, Newark has one terminal. I think it's Terminal C. I don't know, but it, there's... I, 
love it. Is it nice? <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, it's not that nice, but for an airport. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's nice. So, and then I said, it's a whole new world in there. It's a whole new world. So, meaning it looks very different from they did renovations. It, 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 and it adds right. a sense of magic, what you're saying here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're invoking Disney. And then you said, it's okay, Lindsay, just keep swimming. We have plenty of time, right? I'm saying, oh, the line's so long. And then you encourage me, just keep walking, do the thing mm -hmm. you need to do, drop off your bag, check mm -hmm. in, just keep mm -hmm. taking action. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you said, okay, okay, you're right. Hakuna Matata. So you're saying, no worries. We, you know, we're good. Yeah. And then you said, oh, no, none of us, uh, one of us needs to call the hotel. I really don't want to. <laughs> and so you said, oh, okay, some people are worth melting for. So you're saying, <laughs> you know, I value your friendship and I'll, I'll, it's, it's to me, if I understand correctly, it's kind of like, I'll take one for the team, yeah, which is another good, mm -hmm. that's what we could do a whole episode about that one. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I say, thanks. You say, thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> and then I say to infinity and beyond, let's go. And this one is the most <laughs> animated, I guess. And again, I also want to emphasize that you know, you kind of need to feel this when you, if you're going to do, especially with this last line, yeah. you're really just full on quoting the movie. Right. It works for certain personalities and maybe other personalities wouldn't feel like doing it. Like it's just not you. Right. So you kind of right. need to know yourself. Would you say so, Michelle? Right. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't force this. Yes, <laughs> don't force it. You know, it, yes. but it, I would say this is for maybe if you if you want to be a little larger than life in that moment. Yes, um, it just really be extremely animated. Um, then you go for it. But this is not something where you say, OK, I really need to figure out how to fit this one in to be to connect. You know, I mean, no, no you know, you can no. choose some of the ones that are a little bit more natural that we've talked yes. about today. This is way this is a way of sprinkling in your personality. And yeah. if you resonated with that particular movie, you know, the people you're talking to did or just Disney in general, then yes, uh, use it. But just make sure it's a fit for you because it is <laughs> yeah, very exactly. animated. It's very, I would say someone who's really, I don't know, really animated in their personality would use right. that in a certain way. Playful, maybe it's very some, playful. Yeah. Maybe someone that is a, on Broadway, a Broadway actor or something right. where they're an actor right. and they're always kind of bringing that into their lives. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So um, very good. And uh, let's ask the Spotify question we were talking about. So Lindsay, what is the question? The question is, do you like to watch animated movies? And again, it's not just Disney. There are other right. brands that make these now. But do you like to watch this kind of movie or do you prefer non-animated movies? <laughs> yes, <laughs> right? exactly. So yes or no. So go and vote, guys. Vote. Make your voice heard. And we <laughs> want to see what you think, what you do. Yes. Absolutely. And just to recommend another uh, example, uh, another episode, because we we're talking about the airport. Episode 2297 was Traveling Soon, English Phrases for the Airport. All right. What's a takeaway for our listeners today, Michelle? What would you say? Um, you know, don't force these expressions, don't mm -hmm. force them in, but choose one that feels right to you, one that you know well. Um, and also just talking about this topic is really fun because it yeah. makes people feel nostalgic, want to share stories from their childhood. So it's just a great connection topic. Yes. All right. Excellent. And guys, don't forget to leave us a review wherever you are listening in the app or wherever you get your podcast, leave us a review and we'll do our best to announce your name on the show. Okay, yes. mm -hmm. great. Michelle, you have a good day. I'll talk to you very soon. You too. Bye. Bye.